I've done this intro five times. This bright light is starting to like mess with my brain and I keep stuttering and messing up and I just feel like I need to just do this one more time and be done before I lose my mind. So, hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. If you're new, I'm so sorry you have to meet me like this. I'm usually like better, but th this light, I don't have a little, um, usually lights have like this little protector thing that softens it so it's not so harsh on your eyes. I don't have that, so it's actually really hurting my eyes right now. It's kind of affecting everything. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this ponytail. I already have a video on a ponytail and I'll link that down below. However, it's completely different. So don't say I'm doing the same thing because it's totally different. I actually like this one way more. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I lay my edges because recently I've been getting so much love on my edges because I just, I've been slaying them and I don't even know how. Um, I just been putting more effort into them because I just feel like it looks nice and just pulls hairstyles together. Like if you don't have your edges laid, the hairstyle, it can, it's like a 7, but with edges, it's like a 10. So I've been like really going ham my edges and people have been noticing. They're like, Arnell, what do you use? Although I always say what I use, people seem to just miss it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I use. However, just to clarify, I do use two different things. When my hair is wet or like this, I use a gel. When my hair is straightened, I use edge control and the edge control is by Kiss. Yes, I like Kiss Edge Control. I always have to clarify that because people seem to think that I lie about it because they've sponsored me before. However, it's kind of insulting because one, I'm not a fucking liar. Two, just because a brand sponsors me does not mean that it's fake. Every single sponsor that I've done, if you pay attention, you'll notice that if a brand sponsors a video and I use that product, that product will be seen in my videos after that video. Like, I'm not one of those influencers that uses a product once for a sponsorship, and that's the only time I speak on that brand and what is when it's sponsored. You'll see the products in my video when it's not sponsored. So when I say I like a product, just believe me, it's so much easier to do so. So my hair is straight, I use Kiss Edge Control, and I will link a video for that down below because I do have a video of me laying my hair with that product. I want to have two videos, one sponsored, one's not. However, I'll link both down below so you guys see me lay my edges when my hair is straight because I do use different techniques. But with that being said, I'm going to let you guys watch this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're getting really close to 400k, which is really exciting. But then it's like you hit 400k and you're like, then what? What's my next goal? I have no idea. But it'll be really cool to get there by the end of this month. So subscribe while you're here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, so here's my hair. I already brushed out most of it. However, I'm going to brush out a little bit more. I did not wash my hair since the last time I did the style, which is yesterday. I literally just brushed out the gel and do the style over. I just, I try to avoid shampooing my hair too much because it dries it out and I just don't like doing it. So I'm gonna brush out using this Denman brush, which is my favorite to detangle and brush on my hair because it has the least amount of shedding. And then I'm gonna start by parting my hair into a middle part because this is going to be a middle part, not a middle part, what the hell? A side part, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is gonna be a side part style. I love this style so much more than my middle part ponytail because I just feel like this one frames my face much better and it makes my head look a little smaller in my opinion um, and also when you do a side part it's easier to do baby hairs I don't know why it just is and so before I get started I'm gonna wet the perimeter of my hair because I noticed that when it comes to my baby hairs I am able to lay them better when my hair is super duper wet so yeah I'm gonna wet it all up And to lay my baby hairs, I'm gonna take my Eagle Style Olive Oil Gel. I have shown this product in videos before, but if you didn't know, now you know. This is what I use to lay my baby hairs when my hair is wet. I'm still gonna use the same Kiss Edge Control brush. This brush is the bomb, it's my favorite. You can find that at any beauty supply store. Um, it's at most of them, because I always see them. I have like five of them. And I'm just gonna take this brush and sculpt my baby hairs using that. I kind of go in like the swoop de motions. I don't know what to call it. You could call it a Nike symbol motion. You know how like the Nike kind of goes like a swoosh. You can call it like a, a sideways U. I just, uh, I can't explain it. It's more of a thing where you kind of have to watch versus me trying to explain in words because it's very difficult to. But once you get the hang of it, it becomes super easy. Thank you. 
One thing I'll say though that makes my baby hairs last is that I use a lot of products. So when I'm applying the gel, I use more than I need to and the excess gel, I just push it back into my hair where the ponytail is gonna be. But I use a lot of gel and as you can see, it's not affecting my makeup whatsoever. Honestly, I don't know how I'm able to do this without messing my makeup. I just, even when I do mess my makeup, I just get a napkin and wipe it. So before I continue my baby hairs, I am going to brush my hair back into a ponytail. Why did I say baby hairs like that? I said it hella fast. I'm gonna brush my hair back into a ponytail just to kind of get the ponytail going. Um, I don't know, there's no like, super like serious reason for why i'm doing this it just makes my life easier to do the ponytail first and then i do the baby hairs and i go back to the ponytail and i perfect it i kind of just like work back and forth between the ponytail and my edges So sometimes when doing my edges, I do it in a way that can make me look bald. And I'm gonna show you guys right here. You don't want this. This doesn't look good because I'm totally not bald and I don't wanna look it. So you have to manipulate your baby hairs into looking like Slade, but also make sure that your hair still looks full. Cause I know that some people that do their baby hairs and look good, but if you look, it, they look bald and you don't want that. So I just like manipulate my hair into, you know, looking full but also looking slate it's kind of tricky it's it's annoying you could also put eyeshadow there but i like to avoid that when i can because i just don't i don't want that to be a thing where i have to do it it should be an option so i try to you know make it work without having to do that if i do make it work i do but if i need to do that i will put some black eyeshadow just to make my hair look fuller around that perimeter Okay, so we are almost done with the baby hairs. I did not speed this part of the video up because I want you guys to see how long it could take me. Sometimes I'll do it faster, but other times it'll take me this long. So I didn't speed it up because I want it to kind of like be real time so you guys can see exactly what I do um, and just how long it takes. But it's totally worth it. I mean, this probably only took, well, like three minutes. It feels like it took forever. 
However, it doesn't take that long when you do it yourself, but I was really happy to finally be done and just be satisfied with how it looked. So now I'm gonna work on the ponytail. I'm just gonna take a shit ton of gel and just slick my hair back as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect though. And at the end of this video, you guys will see that my hair isn't completely sleek. Like the middle part, it wasn't perfect. However, just as long as it looks good to me, that's all that matters. If it looks good in photos, that matters. If it looks good to people, which it does, that matters. Like I do hair so I can recognize when something looks bad, but most people ain't gonna notice it unless they're being annoying and they wanna see something wrong with you. So just, I'm saying this to say that don't like, it doesn't have to be perfect. If your baby hairs are nice, no one's gonna even notice if your ponytail isn't perfect. I can guarantee you, unless like you just, Unless you just make it look a hot mess, and that's on you. You know, you had this tutorial and you chose not to listen to it. Um, <laughs> but if you just make it look, you know, presentable, that's fine. I just don't like seeing videos where it makes it seem like you have to do it perfect because that's not realistic, okay? Yesterday's ponytail looked better than this one, but this one still looked good, so. Yeah, I'm done ranting. But anyways, I wrapped the back of my hair in a really tight little bun. And then I'm gonna take my bundles and I'm gonna just start wrapping um, the ponytail around that. Well, I'm gonna create my ponytail bundles. On my Instagram post, people ask what ponytail I used. I created one with these bundles. And these bundles are from Yolisa Hair. I've worked with them before. You guys have probably seen them on my channel. And so, um, yeah, they sent me like curly bundles and of course I made a ponytail out of them. But here's a the thing, and this is totally like a lazy hack. Just listen to me talk while I perfect my ponytail, whatever. Not perfected, I'm just, I don't know what I was doing. I was just making it look better on the sides. So, my hair is dyed jet black. However, when bundles are sent to you, they're not jet black, obviously. They're like a off black. So the first bundle I wrap around my hair, I'm gonna use two bundles to create the amount of fullness I want. The first bundle is one that I have not dyed or touched, it's just straight from the pack. And I put that one first because I did not feel like dyeing multiple bundles. And so the bundle that I already had dyed, which I used in a different ponytail, I'm gonna put this one on top of the first bundle. That way all the hair looks jet black when it's really not. So if you have a certain hair color, well, it only work if it's black. If you got some like some blonde, don't do this, it's not gonna work. But if you have like jet black hair and you don't wanna dye all your bundles jet black, just dye one of them jet black and put the other ones underneath that because once you wrap the jet black bundle on top, you're not gonna be to tell that the other one isn't dyed jet black. Do I make sense, you know? It's just, cause honestly dyeing bundles are annoying. I'm just gonna say it. I hate doing it. I don't like it. It takes a lot of time. Then you gotta freaking wash it out. Then you gotta dry it. It's just so much more time consuming and you don't have to do all that. Especially if you have to do multiple bundles. So why do multiple when you could do one and have the same effect? So here I am just wrapping the bundle around my ponytail. Same thing in my last video, just wrapping and wrapping until I get to the end. And then I tighten it by taking the last strand of hair and just wrapping it to secure the ponytail. And these ponytails are so easy to do and they're so easy to take off. It, it'll never fall off on me, but when I'm ready for it to take off, I literally just kind of just pull it a little bit. And um, yeah, it just comes right off. And then I take a piece of hair from the ponytail and I kind of like smooth it out and then I wrap it around the ponytail just to close off the ponytail and make it look more natural. I slowed this part down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just making the ponytail look finished off so it doesn't just look like, you know, some random hair just sticking outside of my head. So as you can see, my hair isn't super sleek. The only way to get your hair super sleek is if you straighten it, and I wasn't gonna do that. So I just took this comb to kind of like make it a little sleeker on the side. It didn't make it look perfect, but like I said earlier, I didn't really care because the ponytail still looked good to me. You could see some of the lumpiness at a certain angle, but 
anyways so to finish off the style I'm gonna first use this shine spray and I'm gonna spray it in the ponytail of my hair as well because I like to give my hair a little sheen it just makes it look more healthy and then I'm gonna take this hairspray and I'm gonna spray the ponytail my hair and my edges because this helps my edges last all day as well and then after I spray that I spray a generous amount I'm gonna take my blow dryer and I'm gonna use it on like the warm setting and I'm just gonna seal the spray as well as the shine spray in place. Ooh, she's looking cute. So to seal the deal, you guys already know I gotta put hoops on because hoops make, they make everything look good. And I'd be wearing the same hoops, but oh well, they're cute and they're my favorite and I'm cheap and I just don't wanna buy more. <laughs> and so um, yeah, this is the finished look. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. And also, sorry that this video isn't super clear. My camera's out of focus, but you can still see everything I was doing. Well, I hope you could. But anyways, if you guys wanna see me do more hairstyles, comment them down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.